Well, the Grosbeck community joined together last night in hopes of a positive outcome for Walker. As 6 News reporter Andrew Moore reports, he has a lot of backup. The huge crowd of people that gathered at the Limestone County Courthouse behind me is not just a representation of how many people the trooper affected during his career in law enforcement, but also before. Here is what they had to say. Chad was like the biggest personality that you could possibly have. He was about this tall, and I'd say he's about that much heart just because of the shoes he was standing on. More than 100 people turned out in Grosbeck to support trooper Chad Walker, a man they all knew and all loved. Some shared funny stories about Walker, like the time he pulled over the local police chief. This trooper gets out, walks up to my window, and I have never seen a bigger smile on anyone's face than the one Trooper Walker gave me. Or how much he loves karaoke. He always thinks he sings Reba better than me. Always sings Tanya Tucker better than me. And he sings everything better than everybody. But most of all, they came together to pray. If we can pray for a game like we did when Chad was playing, then uh, we could do that now, right? And those prayers proved just how much he has impacted the whole community the baseball team. Give on three. One, two, three. Give. The people he went to high school with and the people he served with behind the badge. But I want you to see Chad's other family. This is just a small portion of his other family. And whatever happens next, the community wants the world to know Chad Walker is a person that put a smile on everyone's face. He was either a family or a friend to everybody here. <laughs> And I just want to thank everyone for being here because it means everything to their family. And a person that none of them are ready to lose. And DPS told us just a few hours ago, Walker remains in critical condition. So you can bet that even now, a lot of people are praying for this state trooper. And Grossbeck, Andrew Moore, 6 News. All right, Andrew, thanks so much. A GoFundMe page has been raising money for Walker and his family. Right now, the goal of $60,000 has been met, and that number continues to rise this morning. We